real estate agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with Joey Sampaga. Man with the plan. How's it going, Joey? What's going on? Hey, we are the real estate marketing maniacs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. And we got an awesome guest with, with us today. Actually, the guest is one of the sponsors of the show. And that guest is Jake Krabby with Academy Mortgage. How's it going, Jake? It's going well. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, you know what? You earned your spot, right? That's right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. No. Um, so first, let's let's get into uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that uh, you know you're, who you're with. Obviously, you're with Academy Mortgage. Yep. Um, maybe even give us you know this is mostly real estate agents listening. So maybe give us a. Uh, kind of a market snapshot, if you will, of yeah. the mortgage arena and kind of what's going, what's going on, on out there. Yeah. So again, thanks for having me on the show. Jake yeah. Krabby. You know, I'm sales manager with our uh, Scottsdale office up Frank Lloyd Wright and uh, the 101. Yeah. Work with the team of loan officers uh, up there in our, our Scottsdale office and been with Academy a little over five years, which is the extent of my mortgage career. Yeah, whole time at one place. A whole time at one place. You don't hear that very often. It's the place to be. Yeah. I mean, it's I, I love being at Academy, uh, the culture, the, the family experience, all that kind of stuff. And, and we do things the right way, which, yeah. which I really love. So uh, love what I do, love the people I work with, and the people we're able to help out, obviously, yeah. being in the industry. For sure. Is, yeah, and if you're watching the video, um, Jake is dressed up a little more than the maniacs <laughs> usually right. do. But uh, no, I didn't get the memo that it's uh, shirt and beanies. No, I'm just kidding. Right? <laughs> no, he's Not looking casual very, very Friday. dapper, very professional here. That's so. right. Yes. I, I always joke with the people down at Chandler. I used to work in the Chandler office. They... They still dress nice, but up in Scottsdale, I wear the suit. I'm like Scottsdale, you know. Yeah. You got you got to dress yeah. up. There's a di- yeah. The so there, there's the professional, and then there's that biz cat. Yeah, that's right? exactly right. Uh-huh. That's exactly yeah. right. All those guys probably go play golf. That's why. No, For sure. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. So I I can't talk too much. All right. I used to do that a lot when I was in the mortgage business. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun. Anyway, cool. So what? Yeah, going on with the market. Uh, you know the the big news is you know what's going to happen for the rest of the year and that's kind of been the big question mark a lot of fed talk huh? yeah a lot of fed talks so we've we've seen two rate hikes already this year probably going to see two more probably going to see june and september i'd really be surprised if we see december really i think the big market mover though is going to be what happens with the balance sheet yeah we got four and a half trillion dollars on the fed balance sheet all these mortgage-backed securities so how are they going to unwind that uh, we saw a little bit in the commentary here just this last week. Yeah, I remember that coming out. But yeah. that's really going to be what happens because it's, it's a guessing game. The, the Fed balance sheet has never had this much on it, right? I mean, four and a half trillion dollars. How are we going to put all this mortgage-backed securities back into the market? Right. Is there going to be demand for it? And if there's not demand for it, it's going to lower the price of MBS. And as that price lowers, rates go up. Yeah. So, so they're going to go up. Uh, you know, how fast and when that's going to happen. It, it's anybody's guess, yeah. But that's the trend that we're in right now, right? Overall, though, the outlook is we're, we're pretty steady. We're seeing these kind of gradual increases. We saw a little bit of a, a bump down, you know, these last couple of weeks with a little bit of the uncertainty that's going on at the White House, but right. it hasn't had a, a, a really major effect. Yeah. So they're going to wind it down, huh? That's what I was hearing. That, that's that's their goal, and I, I think the the latest they've said is that they they want to make it kind of I think it's a three year pro maybe by the end of twenty nineteen two year process something like that to to fully wind down and get completely out. But I don't really know. Yeah. I don't think anybody knows really oh, what the plan. No. They've kind of got like, hey, we're going to try this out for a couple months, see what happens, yeah. uh, dip our toe in. So. I, I started reading the article a little bit, and then this just happened. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. That's a lot of money for sure. It is. It yeah. is. And and where's where's the demand going to be? Who the question is who's going to come in and start buying up all these mortgage backed securities, you know, to to increase keep the price up. Cuz yeah. if they don't and, and it drops really fast, you could see rates go up in a hurry. Yeah. With, and I don't think they can afford to have rates change in a hurry. No. Uh I think that would well yeah, that would be that would be a total not with inventory levels and not yeah. with as hard as it is. To, I mean, it's still really hard to qualify for a mortgage for most folks. Yeah, it, it's still tough out there, and the credit standards have loosened up a little bit even since I've been in the industry. Yeah, you know, we kind of were way down here, then went to way up here. We're kind of here now Got with it. with how tough it is to get a mortgage. So you, you can't have rates jumping up, inventory right. low. It's just it wouldn't work for anybody. Yeah. So you brought up. Uh, where we are now as far as people getting approved for mortgages or, yeah. or qualifying. What, tell us a little bit, I guess, about the differences or what separates Academy 
from all the other mortgage companies out there. Yeah, yeah. So there's a couple things, you know. Really, I always look at our business is, is really interesting, uh, working in the loan business, because we have these two avenues, right? We have our, our clients themselves, the people getting the mortgages, and yeah. then we have our business partners and our referral partners, which is typically real estate agents. Right. Uh, you know, kind of turn into to the realtors out there and the people in our market. You know, one of the things I always talk to my team about in our sales meetings is you see a lot of lenders, a lot of loan officers out there, they're making their sales calls, whatever it is. They're promoting themselves because they do a good job of closing on time, they communicate well, and they have good loan products. And I've always kind of laughed at that and said, you know, if that's your pitch of what you do well, to me, that's the baseline. That should be the standard, That's right? the standard, right. So if, if my pitch to you is, hey, I close my loans on time, well, yeah, I would hope so. So we try and look at, okay, what are we doing above and beyond that that's, that's truly adding value? Right. And, and one of our big plays late, lately is we, we developed this program. It's called A Plus Agent. We okay. typically host uh, at least one class a month, both in our, our Chandler office and our Scottsdale office. And it really revolves around social media marketing and how to take advantage of yeah. uh, Facebook and Facebook groups using video marketing and being a community expert. Because right. really, that's what you want to do as a realtor. You're trying to brand yourself in your community as the expert. And and the dynamic has, has changed so much in real estate with companies like Zillow. I mean, they're just completely yeah. changing the game of how people find homes right. and how they purchase homes. And we're trying to get it back to where you're just not a name on the screen connected yeah. to a house on yeah. Zillow to where people come to you as as an expert. Right. No, I, I totally agree with that. We've had some guests on the show that uh, that are doing things different. They're, they're actually taking that exact approach to grow their, I guess you could actually say, kind of create a tribe effect yeah. around who they are in the marketplace. Uh, we interviewed... Um, uh, Sue Pinky Benson. She's out in Florida, mm-hmm. but she's doing a great job with video and live video. She does a lot of Facebook Live stuff, mm-hmm. but she's interviewing you know businesses around her area. Yes, uh, she's becoming known as you know uh, she has Naples, I guess, is the the place that she lives, Naples, Florida, and so it's Pinky Nose Naples, and yeah. she's going around and she's interviewing uh, the new car place that just opened and the best golf course that's yep. there and all these things. So. She's just becoming known for that. One of her last videos, I don't, you probably saw this, Joey, um, is upwards of 30,000 views now. Wow. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and it's just highlighting who Pinky is. Of right. course, she wears pink all the time. So okay. you know, she's just having a, having a blast. And I think that what you're talking about, it's a lot more fun, oh, too, for these agents. For that, sure. If they could figure this out, you're going to have fun doing it, too. Yeah. So part, part of this A-plus agent class is we've developed all these community websites. We've got a Scottsdale Community Living, a Gilbert, okay. a Chandler, all, all these websites. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is. We encourage people, go out into your, to your local communities, interview the school principal and do a showcase on a school, interview you know a, a general manager at a new restaurant that just yeah. opened, or all these small businesses, and, and you know get into your community. And then with the power of Facebook... Because right. Facebook, that's where everybody's at. You can take these videos, share them in these local groups. There's all these groups that are created that are really organic and, and share this information in there. And now people see you as, as a community expert and not just a realtor trying to make a buck selling a house. Right, right. Yeah, if you put the community first yeah, uh, versus, hey, I happen to be in real estate, right? Uh, and that's what Joey and I teach a lot with niche marketing is, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you, you, you come up with what that niche is first. And that's what the passion is. And you just happen to be a real estate agent that's doing that. Yep. Right. So no, yep. I think that's great. Exactly. So that that's one of our big things lately, and that that's just one uh, one piece of the puzzle. We we actually have what we call um, our marketing menu, and it's it's literally a menu on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Yeah. We we bring all our agents that we work in what we call an agent launch meeting. You meet with Tammy Bush. She's our regional marketing manager. Yeah, we know Tammy. She she does a great job. Goes it takes about an hour. She does a bunch of research on the agent beforehand, on you know, social media presence and, and what's out there, business model, all that kind of stuff. And then really we kind of lay it out there. Hey, here's everything we have to offer from help with open houses to drone videos to green screen rooms to shoot videos, all this kind of stuff. What's going to help you with your business the most? Because right. everybody's a little bit unique and everybody's different. And that's what we want to do because if realtors are, are doing more business, we're going to do more business. That's yeah, right. Absolutely, they are. So that kind of differentiate you guys on the, uh, you know, helping the agents build their business. Yeah. How about also, I know you guys have a certain program that you really yep. wanted to mention that yeah. uh, I want to hear more about. Yeah, it's what, come, become more this. popular. So we're talking a little bit about renovation, renovation, renovation loans. Pretty much everybody out there is familiar with 203K, the FHA loan. Yeah, for sure. Um, we also offer what's called the Homestyle Renovation Loan, which is a Fannie Mae product. Okay. Conventional renovation loan. 
a, a lot of things about that program that make it pretty awesome, actually. So the, the biggest thing is you can go to the conforming limit. So okay, at FH, yeah. FHA 203K, you're stuck at the 279 in Maricopa County where the Fannie Mae program, you can go to 424, 100 conforming limit. The wow. other thing that's really cool about it is it can be used for primary residence, second home, and investment properties as well. Right. Obviously, the LTVs are going to change a little bit, but 95 LTV, so 5% down on the pr- primary residence, 10% on a second home, yeah. 20% on a investment property, can be used for refinances as well. So if someone's right. in their home, they love the home, they love the location, but they don't have that equity in their home in order to do all those remodels, because typically what happens is you want to do a cash out refi, which okay. is limited to 80% LTV. Well, you already got to have... 25, yeah. 30, 40 percent equity to start with in order to go up to that 80 percent right. LTV. And a lot of equity lines are capped as, at 80 as well. Sometimes they'll go to 90, but you got to have equity already. What's nice about the Fannie Mae home style is the value that we're going to use for your home is the completed value. So we're going to get all the bids of all the work that you're going to get done, submit that actually to the appraiser, and they're going to give us a value of the finished product. Got and it. then we're going to loan off of that amount. Got it. Okay. Can that be? Can you use it? Is it just for refi, or is it purchase? No, purchase, purchase as well. And that's because I mean, agents probably would be interested to know on the purchase yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. Too. And that's and that's honestly where we do most of them. I mean, there's a lot of folks out there. They're looking for homes. Inventory's low, obviously. Yeah. Uh, there's homes that people find they want to get in. They love the location. It's got the right square footage. All the great things about it. It's never been updated. You know, it's got the original owner since 1985 or even 1995. Yeah. And it's just it's not what they want. And by the time it's they got come all up, the gold fixtures. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And by the time they come up with a down payment, they don't have any money left over to do yeah. the work that they want to it. So it allows us to finance in the, the cost of all those repairs. It also allows you to build a pool. If there's no pool in place, you can actually build that in yeah. uh, when one doesn't exist. It's it's a pretty cool program. It takes a little bit longer to close. Sure. It's more on that, that 45, 50-day closing time. And a lot of that, honestly, is the contractor that holds us up, getting yeah. us the bids, signing this paperwork, all that kind of stuff. That's usually the slowest part. But if you can get a contractor that's on the ball, it's, it's a pretty quick, smooth process. Okay. How about, um, is there much of a hit to rate on that product or no, not, not too bad? N- not really at all. It's usually about an eighth of a point. Maybe you'll see a, a quarter okay. point higher than what the, the typical conventional, yeah. you know, th- we have 30 year fixed and a 15 year fixed cost. Isn't that much more expensive. There's maybe, maybe a thousand bucks more in fees paying Got for, it. for a consultant and title, extra title draws yeah. and endorsements, things like that. Um, but it's, it's not really that much more of an ex- expensive loan. Right. I mean, I've, we've done some, I'm trying to think of some recent ones. Uh, we actually just had one that was pretty crazy. We took a home, a uh, small little home. It was like a thousand square feet, two bed, one bath in Mesa, but it was on like this acre property. Right. They added a whole second level to it. They more than doubled the square footage, made it this five bedroom home. It was pretty cool. Wow. They did, they did, hmm. they, it was the sales price was $90,000. Okay. They did $180,000 worth of work. The appraisal came in at four hundred and fifty thousand. Wow! Whoa. So I mean, they're getting a loan for I think it ended up being two ninety was what they got the loan for. So they've already got one hundred and sixty thousand dollars worth of equity in this house. Wow! Crazy. Same thing at a property up in Cave Creek. Sales price was three hundred. Uh, the thing was just it was beat up. The, the ceilings were caving in. There was <laughs> water damage. The, the bathrooms didn't work. Came in. We did thirty thousand dollars worth of work. The home appraised for three ninety. So there's sixty thousand dollars worth of equity like that. So there's a lot of gems that you can find and, yeah. and put yourself in a good equity position with these loans. Got it. So if an agent's listening right now and this renovation loan kind of perked up their ears yeah. a little bit, how would they reach out to you to to talk about it? Yeah, for sure. Give give, give yeah. me a call. Yeah, well, phone number. What, phone number four four eight zero four four two ninety two ninety one. You can okay. call or text. Um, or you can shoot me an email, jake at academymortgage.com. Super easy enough. Easy to remember, jake at academymortgage.com. Uh, but yeah, happy to go over that program. And, and we've got a really cool, what we call our renovation cheat sheet. Okay. Um, and it's actually just a, a one page flyer that breaks down the three different renovation programs because there's kind of two for 203K. Um, but it breaks it down, you know, what kind of renovations you can do, cost, all that kind okay. of stuff. So that'd be a great one. If, if you're if you're listening, you want to get more information, reach out to Jake at Academy Mortgage. Let him know that you heard about the uh, renovation loan uh, on the podcast, the yeah. weekly closer, and he'd be more than happy to get back in touch with you and uh, probably get you that cheat sheet so that you know for sure. exactly what's going on. Cool stuff. So, uh, thank you so much for sharing that. That's awesome. You got it. Are you ready to get in the ring with the maniacs? Let's do it. Are you sure? Uh, no. <laughs> Here we go anyway. All right. So what's the best advice anyone's ever given you? 
Oh, man, the best advice anyone's ever given me. God, did I read these questions before we got started? I don't think I did. <laughs> I don't know. We can start with a different one. No, no, yeah. that, that's all right. Um, you know, I think the best advice that anyone's ever given me is, uh, you know, persistence. You know, it, it's kind of simple and sweet. So I, when I was in college, I did a door-to-door sales job, worked for this company called Southwestern Company. Yeah. We sold books door-to-door hmm. for 13 weeks. Uh, you know, six days a week. It, it was it was crazy. And, uh, you know, persistence was the key. You go knock on those doors and there's a lot of doors slam in your face. And people yell at you. But that, just, just that was in Iowa, right? Or? So I actually sold books in, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, oh, which in is Pennsylvania. like Amish territory. Uh, I was kind of in more of the city. Uh, but yeah, I went from Iowa to Nashville where sales school was. The last day of sales school, they say, hey, here's where you're going to go for the summer. And they sent us out to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It was an interesting summer. Wow, I learned nice. a lot about sales and, and <laughs> persistence, you know, was, was the big thing. Door-to-door book selling. Yes. And now we have Amazon. <laughs> right. Yeah. How about your favorite mobile app? Favorite mobile app, Mobility RE, which is uh, a okay. company that we partner with at Academy Mortgage. It's uh, an awesome program. It's co-branded to real estate agents. It's a service that we provide it's at, like a home search at thing, no right? cost. Yeah, it's a yeah. home search. And, and the idea is it gets your home buyers off of Zillow. So it's, it's a fantastic program um, to be able to brand every home that's currently for sale to you. And the great thing is it only shows active listings. So if a home's under contract, it's yeah. not going to show up on there. Oh, I can't tell you. I still, to this day, get people that say, hey, will you check out this one for me? They'll text me a screenshot yeah. from Zillow. Sold. And I'm like, gone. It's not, yeah, this isn't. <laughs> anyway, yep. don't get me started. We eliminate so, that. Mobility yeah. RE, awesome program. Okay. How about a book recommendation? A book recommendation. So I just... Uh, just finished reading a book that was really awesome. Uh, it's called the the subtle art of not giving and and then an f word. Okay, I don't, I can't can't say yeah, that on yeah. on the podcast, Beep. right? No. So, uh, but that was a great book, and it's about uh, you know not really caring what other people think, you know, okay. and, and kind of brushing off. It's it's written by I'm trying to think of the guy's name. I think it was Mark. I don't think it was Manson or or Munson, something like that. He's a blogger okay. in in New York. Um, but the subtle art, we'll call it for yeah. short. But great book. Um, a lot, a lot of insight. Very funny. A lot All of right. profanity, though. Okay. All right. How about your favorite hobby? <laughs> favorite hobby. So this is an interesting one. I, I do jigsaw puzzles. Oh, a nice. lot of jigsaw puzzles. Patience. It's kind of, yeah, kind of quirky. Uh, so I do, if you go, come to my house, pretty much anything that hangs on the wall at my house is a jigsaw puzzle that I've done. So I do jigsaw puzzles. I frame them, and that's the art that's hanging in my house. Wow. Wow, that's kind of cool. It's kind of soothing, kind of just like cool. you know, mortgage world's crazy, stressful. Yeah. That just kind of like I chill out, I sit, do jigsaw puzzles. All right, cool. How about you draw one more All right, out of the hat it. here? This is beautiful. What is that velvet? Final question. What did you want to be growing up? Ugh, mostly I wanted to be the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. That was that man, would have been great. That would have been off. Troy Aikman, love Troy Aikman. Big big Dallas Cowboys fan. Uh, I was. Quarterback growing up, played college football, I was a quarterback, and uh, it's really hard to be in the NFL, play for the Dallas I'm Cowboys. Sure oh, that's sure like is. a hard gig to get. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but that that was it when I when I was a kid. I just didn't have I didn't have that much. I wanted okay. it, but I didn't want it. You know, <laughs> I, I wasn't like six a.m. running the hill. Got it. That that sort of that thing. That guy, right? Yeah. We're doing the yeah, like uh, Peyton used to run those, right? Walter Peyton just yeah, run the hill, up the hill, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah constantly. This, Jerry Rice. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Huh. So you played quarterback in college, too? Yep, yep. Played uh, okay. not, not at Iowa. I played at a small school in, in South Dakota. Augustana College was the name of it. Went there for a couple years. Wasn't right. the place for me, so took off, went to Iowa. Go Hawkeyes. There you go. And that's that's where the Mizzou. real, the real no. fun was at, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for being on. This has been great information. This is awesome. Uh, again, uh, one of our sponsors of the show, Academy Mortgage, with Jake Krabby. You can reach out to him directly. You want to share that again? Yeah. Phone, what's the number? Phone number, 480 480- Four four two nine two nine one uh, email real easy Jake at academymortgage dot com. Awesome, thanks so much for being on. We thanks for having it. me, guys. It's fun. Hey, until next time, this is Jeff Underwood along with Joey Sampaga. We are the real estate marketing maniacs, and this is the weekly closer. Till next time, take care. Have a great day. All right, good job. Awesome. That was cool. The Weekly Closer podcast is sponsored by Jake Krabby, NMLS number 877141 at Academy Mortgage. Are you looking to buy or refinance a home? Jake Krabby is your mortgage professional. Contact Jake at 480-442-9291. 
Jake Krabby is a loan officer at Academy Mortgage, NMLS number 877141, state license for Arizona number 0920357, AZBK number 0904081, and New Mexico number 877141, Academy Mortgage Corporation, NMLS 3113, and New Mexico 01451. Call 480-442-9291, address 15333 North Pima Road, Suite 205, Scottsdale, Arizona 85260. Academy Mortgage is an equal house.